At Discovering Inspiration is key to fostering creative innovation. As individuals begin to generate creative solutions, they often find themselves naturally transitioning into leadership positions. Now, let's delve deeper into this topic with my guest, Olaoton. Fayoyimi is a highly accomplished professional with expertise in media, marketing, communications, and various ideas of various fields, including public relations, e-commerce, media, hospitality, and NGOs. He has worked with renowned brands such as Asus, Conga, Jameson, Stambik IBTC, and Mastercard Foundation, among others. Olaoton is also dedicated to empowering teenagers and young individuals and is a member of prestigious organizations, including the Global Affairs of the Chartered Institute of Public Relations UK and the Chartered Institute of Marketing London, among others. Many thanks for joining me, Olauto. Thank you very much, Justin. There's so much here. on your CV. <laughs> <laughs> We're just starting. <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, no, I know you have so many things that you would actually accomplish and that I would watch you get all of them. Thank so you. let's just delve into it. Um, right. You know, innovation and creativity. Um, can you tell us more t the significance of this innovation and creativity that I know I've tried to give like a, a background, but then you are the expert here. Right. Um, innovation and creativity, I think as a nation, it's uh, definitely the way to go. Um, I was just saying just before the show started that um, Na National Bureau of Statistics, uh, Q3 2023, last year, mm. uh, said, gave a report and said that unemployment is at 5%. That's, that's huge. And I mean, we're just waiting for Q4. Mm. I, 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 can, I can almost predict what it will be to go higher. So um, unemployment keeps going up. What's the solution? We cannot um, just watch. One of the very key solutions to unemployment is to discover for each person, each mm. young person, you know that Nigeria, over 200 million people and the high percentage of that mm. are the youth, the young yes, people. True. That's an advantage for us. But then those young people now have to discover themselves. Mm. They have to look into themselves and bring out uh, creative ideas, mm. what we can do differently, mm. what we can add to the economy and not just wait to reinvent the wheel or okay. come out of school. You, you know what? comes out of NYC every year, mm -hmm. and everybody's writing CVs, looking for jobs that don't even exist in the first place. So how do we solve that? We have to be creators ourselves. Mm. So creativity, innovation, to start with mm. for a developing country like Nigeria that really has a long way to go in terms of infrastructure, um, we have to start where we are. Mm. There's this saying I always say, um, I say, start where you are, mm. uh, do what you can, and use what you have. Okay, speaking of starting where one is yeah. and doing what you have with what you want, some people will tell you that um, they don't think that they are creators or they, mm. don't, they don't think they are innovative enough to mm. uh, start things on their own. And we've noticed that there's um, this um, increase in rural, urban um, migration. migration. People coming right. out to the urban areas to look for jobs and to the greener pastures, as it were. Mm. But um, how do we balance this um, issue of economic inequality and, and how do people think out of the box i'm sure there are tools or ways to go about creativity and innovation mm. because some people they feel that uh, i don't think i can create and i don't think i'm innovative enough i just have to just look for a job after school i think where a good place to start is to look at in the in the first place uh what are we doing with uh, young people you know there's this saying to say that says catch them young true i think there's a lot that needs to happen mm. with our school curriculum the school curriculum right now teaches people what to think and not how to think. Mm. So you go into school, you have a pile of books, handouts that you only need to read, mm. put up there, exam comes, pour it down, and you back have a good grade message. back to send that, you see. <laughs> yeah. And then you put it there, and you're like, oh, this guy is very brilliant. You have a very good grade, mm. and then you're out, out writing CVs, mm. out looking for the job yeah. that doesn't exist. Mm. Um, so our school curriculum is highly theoretical. Mm. We just take the books and put it down. We need to shift mm. to being practical. Mm. The world has changed. If you look at developing co developed countries, 
from young age, six, seven, they're already coupling things. They're already teaching them to be creators, to couple. They're not, they not just teaching them to read and write. They're teaching them to be creators. Mm. So that's where I will start from, to say from primary school, secondary school, before we even get to the uh, universities, mm. the curriculum has to change. We need to introduce innovation as, as a model on its own. And for every course that ex currently exists, mm. we need to find a better way to do it. Okay. Because the developed world have moved. So we have to move as well, because mm. they're not waiting for us. I, I get all of that. Now, yeah. in as much as I feel that uh, the curriculums uh, should be changed, yeah. uh, one would also talk about uh, retraining the trainer, because some people are just uh, bent stuck in what they have learned over the years, and they, they're impacting only what they yes. know. Yes. You get, you know. So, but let's still move on. Aside from uh, the, the school level, the mm. educational system, uh, um, I'm sure concerns arise among parents uh, regarding their children pursuing entrepreneurship due to perceived risk and academic pressure. Yeah. So how do we address all of that and how do parents come in? How does the household come in in terms of uh, appreciating this innovation and of course creativity, creativity. And, you know, supporting, you know, their children and what's, you know, to be what they really want, want to be. be. So um, if we're really going to make an impact, right, it cuts across. The government have a part to play. Public, uh, I mean, private companies have a part to play. Sure they do. Parents and educators have a part to play. The youth themselves have a part to play. So right now, let's talk about parents and educators. Back okay. in the days, mm. if, you, if you're playing football outside with the neighbors and your father is coming, you know you're afraid, right? Mm -hmm. But now, <laughs> now the, the conversation has changed. True, it has. If you are reading your book, your father will probably come and say, I hope you have played football. <laughs> <laughs> because right now, <laughs> we know what the footballers are earning, right? Mm. So that's, that's, that's how it is. It's changed. Yeah. So back in the days, you find children who say they want to be actors, they want to be singers, mm -hmm. and the fathers say, no, you, what hap what, what's wrong with being doc a doctor? What's wrong with True. being a lawyer? lawyer. Well, that's, that's, that, that was in the past. Mm -hmm. Right now, people come out with different things they want to be skit makers if you can pull the crowd why not if you can do it well why not mm -hmm. so where where we need the parents and the educators to come in is to allow children youth to mm -hmm. express themselves but mm -hmm. being monitored okay. being um, um engaged okay. ensuring that they're actually on the right path mm -hmm. our 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 role is to guide them. Our role is not to stop them mm -hmm. from being what they want to be. So what's wrong? We have several examples. People who were in school studying law True. and they came out, they got the grade now. They came out, they are in music. They are, they are acting. I studied accounting. Oh, well, welcome to the club. I studied quantity surveying. <laughs> right. But right when we were studying, in, we, we just knew, I mean, you'll agree with me, Justin, we just knew that there was something more to us than what we're studying. Mm -hmm. And then you come out and you're like, you know what, let me just follow what I really want to do. At that point, I don't think parents should insist that you have to be a doctor, you have to be a lawyer, mm. or you have to be an engineer, or you have to be an accountant. Okay. If they want to be, I mean, there's a very popular skit maker right now that uses what he studies in school to make the skits, and mm. he's doing very well. True. So that's creativity, that's innovation. Mm. So you want to look at them. Right from their young age, you want to find out what's so special about this job the that they have. The yes. And you can begin to help them to develop it, right? Okay. If it's cooking, if it's making fabrics, if it's fashion, mm. they have to go to school. This is not against um, formal education. Mm. It's to say that formal education is supposed to enhance mm. your skills, your mm. skill set, mm. what, you, what you can naturally do. So that when you are out, you are not writing CVs. Mm. You are creating something that will give jobs to other people. Okay. You see all the skit makers and the music uh, m uh, musicians and the actors, they have people working for them. They have makeup artists. They have guys making their clothes. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So when one person creates something out of his skill set, mm. you create jobs for other people. And that's where we have to get to in, in, in this country. We have, youths have to discover themselves and bring out um, uh, their own creation mm. that, can develop, that can help their own personal economy, mm. the economy of their family, and then translate to the economy of their 
community. Well said. Let's still talk about uh, economic and development. How, how or do you see for um, do you foresee innovation and creativity uh, contributing to the economic development of Nigeria? And right. what measures can government policy makers uh, uh, implement to facilitate um, its growth? You've talked about how big the creative industry is in Nigeria. Yes. And we actually almost like a hub in, um, uh, in Africa yes. with, with um, our you know our content right. you know, hitting Netflix exactly. and all of that. So if the government will help us, we need infrastructure. We're, we're currently not doing well in that regard. Mm -hmm. For all you care, um, in internet, I mean, internet subscription is still very expensive. Um, electricity. If, if you want to create content and you don't have power, mm. you have to wait. If it's three days before power comes, you have to wait before power comes, mm. right? You can't run your generator 24-7. Well, it's expensive. I mean, it's just one thing after another. Even the electricity is right now expensive for that's those that, in Band A region. Exactly, Band A region. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you're in Band A region, do you even have the electricity that's after you are paying, paid so high? Yeah. So the government needs to help us. I have seen pictures of people who created one air work aircraft that doesn't have this mm -hmm. one, one keke that doesn't use well. We see all those pictures here and there. Mm -hmm. Um, across the country. They After what, about. Yeah, they just fizzle out. What happened to such people? Why are we not picking them up? Why are we not taking that idea from them and blowing it up? Mm. By the way, everybody's looking at Abuja, the federal government, but there is, there is, there is a local government where that person came from. Sure. There's a chairman there. There's a state where that person came from. Mm -hmm. we, have to look, we have to go to the grassroots. We need to hold the leaders at every level responsible for lack of innovation and creativity. Mm. If the youth are not coming up with, um, uh, coming to the fore, everybody has to be held responsible. The youth themselves have to be held responsible. We want the way out. You want to come out of school today and, and blow like <laughs> tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. It's, it's, it's a growth process. Mm. So that's why I said it cuts across. The government will help us with infrastructure, uh, enabling environment for creativity. Creativity has to have an environment. Mm. If you get up, get out and, and someone beats your head mm. while you are looking for a job, strolling the street looking for a job, you will not be creative. Creativity will run away. Okay. Uh, I, know, I know we've talked about these challenges and um, how government can, but let's talk about um, uh, challenges for the individuals themselves yeah. as it is. Because I, like I said, some people would say that uh, they are not um, innovative, they're not creative thinkers mm. and all of that. But does or sh this issue or this concept of um, creativity and innovation, should it be for everyone? Because some people, they will just tell you that they'd rather just uh, do their normal nine to five and um, not really uh, bother about um, thinking out of the box to do something different or just starting something new. Right. You know, So is it for everyone? And then because at the time when the nation's economy is really hard and people are talking about um, side gigs, second jobs, and uh, you know things are to just bring multiple streams of income. Exactly. So, yeah. So apart from bringing multiple streams of income, which is a valid reason why you should discover yourself and bring out something creative, mm. the second point is that every man was created to be a creator. Mm. Yes. Wow. Yes. It's just that most people don't discover it. You see, there's this mindset, and we picked it from the older generations. You, you're born, you go to school, come out, have a good grade, get a job, get a wife, have kids. When you're old, your kids begin to take care of you. Mm. That's it. That's it. That's stereotype. No, that's not how it's meant to be. We cannot follow that stereotype. Mm. What we need to do is to discover ourselves. Okay. Look into yourself. What are you created to do? There has to be that skill, even if it is one. Some people have multiple. Okay. Some people have just one. Mm. If we take the time to discover it, and pay attention to it, give it time, give it resources, give it everything you have, mm. you would be surprised. Mm. See, what we are saying here is that you don't wait for Nigeria to be good before you... Maybe, what if it does never gets good? Mm. So create an economy for yourself. Okay. Do something that you can earn, mm. and then it, it makes life better for you, 
right. and for your community, for your immediate environment. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go and then, I mean, you don't want to get to a certain age and you're waiting for your kids to come and feed you. You should actually leave something for them. Mm. And the only thing you can leave for them is something that you have created. Of course, a wise man keeps an inheritance for Exactly, his for children. his children. Mm. Then how can you keep in, you want to keep inheritance from salary. <laughs> salary that's not even enough to buy fuel and, and, uh -huh. and, do you understand what I'm saying? True. So the, the point is, every single man has a gift. Mm. Are you taking time to discover it? Mm. Do you have the right resources? Do you have the right support All right. from your parents, your siblings, everyone around you, even from your religious God, um, um, cycle? Yeah. Do you have the right support to discover it and put it to use? Mm. That's what we're saying. So going forward, we need to help our young people mm. to discover it. And when they have discovered it, we help them, we support them to put it to use so that they can better their own lives. All right, thank you so much, Olao. We thank just you. have to uh, you know, <laughs> draw the curtains here because when you talk about creativity and innovation, there's a whole lot to be said and it's right. not something you can exhaust. Uh, maybe we might have to bring you back on the show to look at all that you know, uh, insight on um, all of this because sure. the Nigerians need to you know, hold the future for themselves Absolutely. and be what they want to be. Absolutely. We do appreciate your time. Olao Tom Fawai is the Associate Director of Media Craft um, Associates. Thanks for being right. a part of the show. Thank you, Justin. All right. Thank and that's as much as we have time for on business insights for today. My name is Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for being a part of the show. Bye for now.